Bryant up strongly for City. Warwick to Alexander. Played in, and Browning couldn't get hold of that one. A little bit of an opening there for the young man. Washington. And Bryant. And Hardiman. And Harrison in there quickly. And uh, Harrison, uh, as I said, a hard young man. And there's some hard things going on out there which should not be happening. The tackle on Browning. And Mr Martin's got a hard job here to get this under control. This is a time for people to uh, try and behave, Mark. Well, it's very, very difficult, Roger. Temp tempers are so high, they're obviously afraid. It was an awful tackle. I think the, the least Tyson will get would be a yellow card. I can't for life think he'll get a red one. But the referee's got an awful job on his hands today. Yes, I would have thought that was a, a yellow card job and no more myself. They've Hopefully played in these enough. games before. Ho Hopefully, yeah. It's just very, very late, Roger, when you see it. It comes flying in here. Wait till it just knocks the ball. Here it comes. Here you go. Caught his standing leg. He deserves a booking. Yes, I think the ball was there to be seen for a moment, and it was rash the way he went for it. He was late, wasn't he? He was just very, very late. But he was that late, he needed to be booked. Yes. A yellow card. He can take a long one. Stewart. Alexander. The cross. Christensen clearing. Stewart. Warwick. Changing the direction. Channing. He's got Hardiman outside him, and that's a cracker. The confidence of the man who scored the Malcolm's run. taken over. Cole. Looking for Harrison, finds him. And a vital clearance there by Yates. It's dropping for Shelton. And he hooked it wide. Now that was an excellent chance for Gary Shelton, the midfield city. Once again, that boy saved the city. But it's Channing again. He's going to shoot again. And my goodness me! again Rog two steps forward and he hits it we're right down it's in like an absolute rocket Welsh had no chance whatsoever that's a great goal for Rovers here we go 25 minutes gone he scored in the last two games Allison said shoot and boy did he shoot 1-0 to Rovers 25 to minutes gone Browning to Stewart to Saunders Alexander Taylor's through chance here oh the keeper came well the throw is Hardiman's by Channing to Hardiman, a long cross in here, and a chance, and it's Marcus Stewart! A lovely ball by Channing for the cross to come in, and Stewart timed that volley, 2-0 to the Rovers. That's a super deep cross from Hardiman, Scott got pulled underneath it, and look at that finish on the far post by Stewart. Great touch there, 2-0 to Rovers. Here we go again, Roger. Great deep cross. City defence gets sucked in, and a lovely finish, giving Welsh no chance whatsoever. Yes, Marcus Stewart, 20 years of age. Very much fancied by some of the bigger teams already, but Bristol very pleased he's in their side. Now, yes, he's very well to get the final challenge in. Here we are. Good ball in as well by Gavin. Lovely little turn here, look at that. The old drag back left foot. And Yates has proved very, very difficult for him. You've got to feel sorry for City, Roger. They were looking the better team in the second half. And they've just conceded a second goal of the highest quality. Saunders. He did bring 
shoot, and that's two long-range bombshells that have hit the city. Carl Sanders, 3-0. Yeah, he's just hit it left foot, and it's sailed in, hasn't it? To be honest with you, Roger, I doubt if we've seen three better goals in one game. I mean, all three goals from Channing, Stewart, and now Saunders have been of the highest quality. Excellent. A great strike there, left foot. Jakinowski, a little bit of space. He did have Waddock's on him now. Terrier like the Rovers, aren't they? See, and that's why they won the game, haven't they, Mark? Far easier, Roger. And it's there! Number four, John Taylor! Well, Christmas has come early for Rovers fans. Four nil! Here we see it, what a won the tackle on Jakanowski. Again, man at defenders. And tell you, it's a great strike from the edge of the box. Keeper Wells has no chance. That is now four quality goals for Bristol Rovers. But really, the goal sums City up, Roger. Jakanowski looking to do things with it. Lost it, middle of the pitch. Five men committed forward. And a great strike from Taylor. 4-0. Yep. Yep. Allison to Gavin. Just looking for that one goal for a bit of pride now, the city. But uh, the ball over the line there before it reached Cole. Scott hasn't got down that left wing and got in crosses like his manager would have liked. No, certainly not like Channing and Hardiman have done on the other side. It's been very difficult for City at the back. They've looked very, very brutal and they've imposed many problems on the flanks by Stewart and also by Hardiman. Chance here for Gavin. Oh well, when you date, when you lux in, you lux in, and that was Alexander with a marvellous goal line clearance mark. Yes, he did. It looked as though the City were going to pull one back. You see, Alexander was in the right place at the right time. And that is the end of an eventful Bristol derby. Malcolm Allison there, the magic Malcolm. Taylor there who scored the fourth goal. The Rovers fans celebrate. City fans, you could only feel for them because their team was hit by some remarkable goals. One of which was scored by Carl Saunders. Chuck Alexander there with the City fans. Channing there with the Rovers fans. Russell Osmond of England, well, he's seen most things in football. He now knows what it's like to be on the receiving end of an inspired Bristol Rovers performance. Marcus Stewart there has scored a lovely goal. What a lovely young player he is. Carl Saunders there who also scored, disappearing amongst his fans. Browning who ran himself into the ground. It's Rovers day, it's going to be Rovers night. It takes two teams to make a match. City did their best, it wasn't good enough on the day. Rovers are on a revival which swept their old rivals aside in the 75th league contest. 4-0 is a remarkable score by any judgment in a derby. And as uh, Carl Saunders there is cheered off, let's go back to Alistair in his studio chair.